I'm 18 years old and I'm a girl, obviously, I think. <laughs> but that doesn't really explain who I am, does it? Um, it's kind of hard. I am obsessive, quiet, normally. But if you get to know me, I can burst out in craziness. Everyone says that about themselves though, right? I'm a child. I find joy in dressing up and going out in public like that. <laughs> or dancing in parking lots like a drunk freak or something, even though I don't drink. Um, it's fun. You should try it. <laughs> um, yeah, I think that everyone should just stop giving a crap about what people think. I mean, if they think that you're a retarded, moronic attention whore, then so be it, right? It's their problem if they care. Um, I always say that, though, and I don't listen to myself. I constantly am keeping my mouth shut and not... I'm avoiding talking to people all the time just because I'm afraid of what they'll think of me, which isn't good. <laughs> I just find it easier to be in costume or not myself. I don't know. Um, yeah. Anyways, I can be selfish, indecisive, and unsure of myself, but yeah, I'm not perfect. I'm not close to being perfect. I am very unsatisfied with my looks, and I'm always wishing that I could just wake up in a different body someday. But I need to realize that won't happen and just need to deal with it. Or I can take the suggestion of assholes and get plastic surgery. I think dealing with it would be less painful and cheaper. Um, besides, this is the way God made me, right? I have the chubs in me tummy, and I'm short. <laughs> I have a lump on my nose. <clears throat> and my eyes are melting off my face, as some of you would say. I always look tired, even when I'm not. My posture isn't the greatest. And my skin isn't even near perfect. I have a lot of zits right now, actually. You probably can't see them as well on the webcam, but whatever. I have really, really white legs. I burn. I don't tan. My hair is naturally frizzy in a color that I dislike. So I recently started dyeing it and I like it better that way. I overplucked my eyebrows a couple years ago and they're finally coming back, but I'm still never satisfied with them. I don't like my earlobes. I think they're kind of weird. I don't know why. My fingers are fat. I hate my butt, and my arms are hairy, actually, like a man's, almost. Not quite, but I feel like it. Yeah, the things you guys need to know about me, right? I think I look better in some of my pictures and my videos than I do in real life, but I'm not really sure about that. But I still feel like both aren't that dandy to look at. I procrastinate too much. I sometimes feel like if I put it off long enough, it'll just go away, like poof. Do you guys ever feel like that? It's hard to dedicate myself to something. I like to paint, but I don't like people watching me do it for some reason. It kind of feels like they're watching me write in my diary. I don't know how. I don't think I'm really that good at it, but it's fun, so it doesn't really matter. Oh, speaking of diary, I also keep one of those. I'm actually on my fourth one right now, and it's almost full. I hardly write in there anymore, but when I do, I can write for pages and pages. I just go crazy. If I had the money and someone to do it with, I would totally be traveling traveling all over right now. Some places I really want to go are England and Germany and Japan and like all over the United States and Canada and I heard I don't even know what to list right now because I think every place would be cool to visit. It's just every place is so different. Yet in reality I hardly ever go anywhere. Actually, I didn't even leave Southern Oregon for almost two years until just the end of March when I went to Los Angeles by myself to stay with Stevie. Yeah, she's cool. I feel like I've learned more about myself just from knowing her and I'm not really sure how that worked. I don't think she knows how much of an impact she's had on my life recently, but thank you. I also met Ryan and Albert Reyes while I was there, and they're cool too. Look up Pimply Wimp, okay? Pimply Wimp. <sighs> while there, I, I finally went to Disneyland. It's wonderful there. <laughs> Anyways, I'm single, as always. It's kind of obvious why. But even if I could just pick and choose any guy that I want 
to be in a relationship with, I wouldn't know who. Honestly, it feels like there isn't anyone for me. Which would probably be why Lindsay and I always joke about how we should just date each other. Because I love me friend Lindsay. <laughs> if she was a guy, I would totally date him. I like music a lot, listening to it, but doesn't everyone? Yeah, I list some of my favorites over on my MySpace profile. So if you are interested, check it out. I have this huge hole in my sock. And I'm sad. <laughs> I love this pair. Oh, speaking of socks. Here's a random fact that I, for some reason, love to tell people. I don't know why. Um, I don't have any plain socks. None. I don't have any plain white socks. I don't have any plain black socks. I don't have any plain colored socks. Nothing. Nothing. They all have stripes or something. Over half of them are Christmas socks. <laughs> Thanks to Old Navy's sale after the holiday season. I love that. The simplest pair I own actually look like they're plain black, but on the bottom they say rock and roll in rainbow. I always forget about that pair. I'm currently licking a jawbreaker. <laughs> At the time of writing this, I was. Yeah, I love <laughs> candy too much. Mostly chocolate, but otherish, other sugary goodness is great too. I'm also drinking this Diet Coke Plus stuff, which apparently has vitamins and minerals in it. I never really drink soda though. Almost never. So I'm not really sure where we got this. I guess it's because it's in a little cute bottle. <laughs> it attracted me. So I spent 50 cents on it. Oh, speaking of money. I need a job. My last job was at Toys R Us. Enough said, really. I hated it there. <laughs> I was a bitch though and quit the dumb way. I just called in saying I quit. Apparently, I didn't say it clear enough or something because a few days later the manager called and and asked my mom if I was okay, saying that it was unusual for me to miss a day without calling in sick. Hello? I quit. I called in and everything and I quit. What the heck? I think my mom just said, yeah, she's okay. She didn't really tell them much. A few hours later, I was on the plane to um, Los Angeles, though, so it was all good. Um, yeah, I wonder how long it took for them to figure it out, you know? Anyways. Yes. Hello. I do stupid things. I say stupid things, and I am stupid. <laughs> Hello, my name is Melody, and I'm addicted to the internet. Save me. No, seriously though, it's horrible when you feel like you have to check your MySpace live video and YouTube every time you are near a freaking computer. Give me a break. Okay, so now that I've told you guys about myself in a really unusual and scripted way since I just read it from a blog I wrote last night, I want you guys to tell me about you. And I don't know if you guys noticed, but I talked about myself the way... I don't know, like the way I view myself. What I don't like about myself, I didn't... I didn't talk so much about oh how much of a great person I am I didn't give you my whole life history and I just gave you some random facts so I thought it'd be interesting if you guys did the same make a video comment or video response depending on what site you're on and I want you to talk about yourself and I want you to not take it so seriously and just 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 don't care what people think talk about Talk about how you like to pick your nose and eat it on weekends, and I don't care. Tell me things that you normally don't tell people you first meet, basically. Ciao.